Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop. So, I was watching some YouTube videos and I came across this story about Pierce Morgan and Meghan Markle. Make of Meghan Markle, but it wasn't always that way. In fact, after Meghan and Prince Harry made their relationship public, he seemingly had nothing but nice things to say about the American actor. He said on Good Morning Britain at the time, My take on her was she's very beautiful, she's very intelligent, I was really impressed. I thought she was a very nice woman, very suited to Harry and different. However, as Meghan's relationship with Harry intensified, so did Morgan's dislike for her. He began making largely critical remarks about the couple throughout their engagement. As the drama between Meghan and her father unfolded right before her May 2018 nuptials, Morgan seemingly became highly disenchanted with Meghan and sided with her father. He penned a piece for the Daily Mail in 2018, writing that Meghan is, quote, a ruthless social climbing actress who has landed the role of her life and is determined to milk it for all she can. He then wants a... Wow. So, Pierce Morgan was a fan, and then now he's a hater of Me Me Meghan, Mar Meghan Markle. So my question to the cards is, why? Why has Piers turned so harshly on Meghan Markle? So I've got my tarot cards here. We're going to have a look at what they say. So why has Piers Morgan become a harsh critic of Meghan Markle? Okay, two of pentacles. Hmm. Two of pentacles, ups and downs, juggling, unstable, ungrounded. So, okay, so they started off on an unstable, ungrounded situation, possibly not balanced in any, any major way. Okay, so the two of pentacles is a very up and down type of card. Let's see, card number two, the two of wands. Now we've got two twos. Two of wands is usually about someone thinking far away. Okay, someone thinking of something in the distance. What else have we got? The just, justice card. Hmm. So something about judgment, deciding, um, looking at the facts. So possibly Piers started off kind of up and down with the Two of Pentacles, thinking of the future, Two of Two of Wands, and then making a decision with the Justice card. It's not really saying a lot to me at this point. Why has he turned on her money? Something about money. Perhaps he felt like uh, she was, he was going to give her an opportunity. So if you look at the card, it's someone offering money or an opportunity to someone who's less fortunate. So possibly Piers felt like he was going to help her out in some way. And the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is about perhaps romance, so thinking that there was going to be a romantic uh, overture in, in the future between them. So possibly Pierce felt like he wanted to get to know her more. So it's interesting to me that there's a lot of twos as well. So there's Two of Pentacles, okay, Two of Wands, and then Two of Cups. So Two is about pairing up. So possibly Pierce felt like he wanted to get to know her, pair up with her. However, we've also got two cards that represent uh, scales. We've got the Justice card that has scales and also the Six of Pentacles, which also has scales. So scales is to do with weighing up the pros and cons or the good and the bad. And if we go back to the first card with the two of uh, pentacles, this is also about weighing things up, pros and cons. So possibly what I'm getting from this reading is Pierce liked her, um, was attracted to her with the two of cups, wanted to meet up with her. However, he was also judging whether to be 
for Megan or against Megan. So it looks like he was making a, a cool, uh, logical decision. Ju Justice Cut is all about balancing and it's all about making a, uh, an objective decision. So possibly he felt that um, he was either going to be on her side or against her and he's judging the pros and cons. Now, probably being against her would uh, give him more publicity, I would think. Okay, because this is like a very calculated decision. The, the justice card is about calculated decisions. And then we've got here, the, the Six of Pentacles is about giving someone, okay? So perhaps he felt like he could help her out. He wanted to meet up with her with the Two of Cups, okay? But then it shows that they started off on a very uneven playing field as well. So it's a very mixed bag. It doesn't really tell me exactly why he's acting this way, but there is a feeling of him um, being very calculated in his way of... Uh, in his way of progressing. Now the justice card in the middle can also represent a legal matter that may come up between them. So possibly she may sue him or he may try to sue her for some slander or something like that. Okay. So it's came up quite, um, quite vague. There's a vague feeling. The two, there's lots of twos. So that would represent perhaps wanting to partner up with her and it does end on a romance card. So possibly he felt romantically attracted to her as well. Just trying out my window as my card holder. I thought to myself, I was sitting here and I thought this window could possibly hold cards and I was just trying it out. I think the lighting's not that great right now, but um, I thought this could be a good idea to have uh, as my card holder. Yeah, the reading, I think um, if I go back to Megan and if I go back to um, Megan and um, what's his name? Um, Megan and Piers, I think that there's mixed feelings there. I think Piers, there was a feeling that Piers liked Megan, uh, perhaps attracted to Megan, probably thought she was quite intelligent. Uh, however, I think he's decided as time's gone on because she's not interested in him that he then decided to go against her because I think it could be good for his career. I think he weighed up his, you know, pro Megan, anti Megan, uh, Megan. I think he decided to go anti to then, um, I don't know, make his own profile more successful. That's what I'm kind of feeling in the cards here. Uh, but I do genuinely think he did like her more than just a, like a, a friend or someone that he knows. So I thought I'd ask the Lenormand for a second opinion about Piers and Megan. Let's just see what these guys want to add to the reading. I'm just going to start off with three cards. Three random cards, one, two, and three. Those three came out. Key, okay. So why is Piers acting this way towards Megan? Why is he being a total bitch? Um, well, the key opens the door, doesn't it? And now we've got the door shutting in his face. So I think he saw an opening he saw something, um, you know, potential in something, like an open opportunity, say, but it looks like the opportunity got slammed shut. And it shows that he's feeling probably bitter. Snake usually means enemy, bitter. So that could be saying that the, the door was shut on him and then he turned bitter could also be saying that he sees her as a horrible woman as well, because a snake card usually means a toxic woman. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, basically it looks like the door was shut on his uh, hopes of them being friends or being romantic, and it's gotten very bitter. 
So I'm going to do the sum total now. So 33 plus 8 plus 7 equals 48. So 4 plus 8 equals 12. 12 is the birds. This is my yellow Lenormand deck. So birds, birds is number 12. Birds usually represents gossip and, um, you know, media, chatter, Twitter. So there's a lot of that going on. And um, so the birds also can mean flighty and it could also represent a pairing up or a desire to pair up. So the cards, the tarot cards, as well as the Lenormand seem to be talking about this pairing up that, that went wrong, that didn't happen. And uh, perhaps Pierce felt like they were going to be at least friends in some way and that he had the upper hand because he was more famous than her. But it turns out that it didn't work out that way. And now he's bitter about the whole thing. And the whole thing's playing out on social media now. Okay, well, I'll leave this video there. So thanks for participating, everyone. Bye.